hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so for this tutorial as you can see i've already made one part of the pants so this is what we're going to make and i'm using this type of yarn it's called seagull and it's this is the yarn it's four ply and it's 100 percent acrylic so it's very lightweight so i'll be doubling my strands so what we're going to do first you're going to make a chain So I'm going to make a chain close to the same as this one and how to do that you're just going to grab your yarn I'm going to make a slip stitch see an over like that and when you're starting this part like this first one make sure you write down the number of chains that you made so that you can come back and just do the exact same thing so a chain one two three yarn over you have two left on the hook go into this space have three pull through two pull through two yarn over again you'll have three pull through two pull through two and you're going to do this until you get to the very end so here i'm done with the first row i've finished my very last and i counted this was 56 sorry this was 56 I made 56 stitches for the long chain so here what you're going to do next is you're going to chain four one two three four and you're going to turn your work around this double crochet and this they act as the same double crochet so you're going to skip this because this is the same so you skip one go into the next double crochet with a double crochet one chain one skip one going to the next double crochet with a double crochet chain one skip one going to the next and you're going to do this until you get to the very end so i'll meet you at the end and then i'll show you what to do next when we're at the so as you can see i'm done with row two and we're going to row three so for row three we're going to chain four one two so chain four turn your work around and because this acts as our first double crochet you're going to go into this chain one that we made with a double crochet and then go into this double crochet with a double crochet in the chain one go into it with a double crochet and you're going to do this until the very end i'm just going to show you how you end it at the beginning we made a chain of four but you remember here we have two double crochets so you on the fourth chain that we made first fourth stitch you're going to put a double crochet and also on the next one on the third one you're going to put another double crochet so this gets us for this and this so after this what you're going to do is you're going to chain one two three four you're going to skip one and go to the next chain one skip one going to the next so make sure where we are making our double crochet it like it's just the same because we're repeating this row so you're going to do this until you get to the end and then come back and always remember where i made our chain four here where this mesh kind of like pattern is you're going to put two double crochets on the fourth and the third 
so as you can see here i made one row of normal double crochets mesh another one so i'm going to meet you when you're on the third of your mesh like let's say one two three on the third also like one two three so one two three four five six on the new sixth row that's where i'll meet you and then i'll show you what to do next when you're here on the on the what on the sixth row so as you can see i'm finished i'm on the third one and what you're going to do is i made my first row was 56 stitches and then when you divide 56 because <clears throat> it gives you what 28 so these this mesh part right here is 28 what um like the 28 spaces so i'm going to count 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 which is this and this is the middle part and i'm going to attach my stitch marker right there then i'm going to grab my hook and i'm going to continue with the double crochets that i did here and then i'll meet you where i where i've attached the stitch marker so here i'm almost at the middle I'm going to remove, I'm actually at the middle, not almost, remove the stitch marker. So I'm going to go into this chain one that we made with three, one, two, three double crochets. And I'm going to count, this is the first one, the second one is where I'm going to attach my stitch marker. And I'm going to continue until the very end so here in the middle we are going to be increasing so it gives you this kind of like shape of the shot so let me finish this row and then i'll come back and show you what to do because it's just a repetitive thing so i've reached where my stitch marker is and i'm going to remove it and then i'm going to put three <clears throat> Excuse me. three more double crochet here and you're just going to attach your stitch marker on this middle one and i'm going to continue when once you reach the end you're just going to chain three instead of four so you chain three um continue like that and you're going to do this for one two i'm going to add 12 more i here i made 14 counting from where we started increasing 14 rows so i'll meet you when i'm done with my 14 rows but it's just repetitive once you get where your stitch marker is you're going to add three double crochets right here and then you're just going to continue until you get to that so i'm going to do this part of camera and sorry about the background noise i currently don't have as you can see my setup is really not that good and i don't have um a microphone so there is i don't know if there's some noise that you're hearing from the background there's a church nearby but this is it for this part this one so i'll meet you when i'm done and then we are going to make the morphis motif i don't know if i should call it motif stitch for joining them so i'll meet you when i'm joining the two so i'd already made the two pieces and as you can see this side i'd already joined it so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to show you how to join this other part because this is the same thing that we did here so i don't want to do double work so what you're going to start with is you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to make a magic circle and this is how i do mine it's so simple i'm just going to grab my yarn like this have two like that and i'm going to come here and pull it then remove my fingers I'm going to chain three and this is going to act as my first 
double crochet it's going to act as a double crochet so what you're going to do is you're going to chain 15 make <coughs> 15 double crochets one two three four Seven. After making them, you're going to grab this part and you're going to pull through. Make sure it's very tight. And you're going to join this to this. You're going to go on top of that chain three that we first made. You're going to go into that with a slip knot which is you just pull and then pull through like that so <clears throat> sorry this acts as our what our double crochet so what you're going to do is you're going to chain three one two three which also acts as a double crochet so you're going to yarn over you're going to go into this space the chain three space here with two double crochets one two then you're going to chain one and go into the same stitch this right here with three double crochets as you know chain three acts as our first double crochet so we want to this makes three double crochets chain one then put three double crochets ready put one two and three <clears throat> and you're going to chain one two skip sorry you're going to skip this after the chain three that first double crochet you're going to skip it and you go into the next which is this with a single crochet which is just go in pull through you have left then pull through two and then you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to skip one and you're going to go into the next with three double crochets two three chain one go into that same stitch with three more double crochets and then you're going to chain one two you're going to skip the next go into the next with a single crochet and this is what you're going to do until you have four of these this is one this is two so you, once you're done with this you're going to chain two then single crochet here then chain three so here i've already chained two single crochet i'm going to chain three one two three and then i'm going to skip one going to the next and that is going to give me my next <coughs> stage one three chain one going to that One, two, skip one, going to the next. One, two, three, skip one, going to this with two double crochets. Oh, made a mistake here. Skip one, going to the next. One, two. Chain one, and so this is how we end it. <clears throat> As you can see, we have one, two, three, four. So we're going to chain two, one, two. Skip this, go into the next with your single crochet, and you're going to chain one, two, three. Go on top of our chain three with a s slip stitch go into the next and you just pull and pull like this and then even in the middle where we have chain one you're going to pull like that so this is how it looks like and you're going to chain three again one two three and then you're going to go into this 
with two more double crochets chain one you're going to chain two one two go into this space this first space here with a single crochet then you're going to chain three one two three go into this the si sorry 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 after chaining two then single crochet into this space you're going to chain two again and then go into this space with a single crochet just like that and then you're going to chain three two three and then you're going to go into this with three double crochets chain one three more double crochets one two three and then you're going to chain one two go into this with a single crochet chain two again go into the next space with a single crochet then you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to go into this space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets so you're going to do this and then i'll meet you when you're here so what you're going to do next is you're going to chain three and this is how we end it and you're going to go into the chain three that we made on top of it you're going to go into that with a slip knot slip stitch So this is our last stitch what we're going to do is we're going to join it now so this is how you join you're going to grab make sure that this is your front part and then this is the back part so when you're joining it make sure you align it very well so as you can see this so i'm going to join here right and how i join is i'm going to chain one two three right and i'm going to go on top right here with a slip stitch then i'm going to chain three one two three turn your work go into this space with a single crochet one two three go into this space with a single crochet one two three go, go into this chain one two three go into this chain one two three then into this then chain one two chain one two three so you're going to you make chain three and then you're going to join here with a slip stitch just like that and so what you're going to do is you're going to chain one two go into this space with a single crochet chain one two and you're going to skip this and go into this skip this go into this with a single crochet chain one two go into this space with a single crochet chain one two Go into this with a single crochet one two one two one two one two go into this one two 
going into this as you can see here I did one two three four five six so I have to make sure that this is also one two three four five six so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to chain one two go into this as my sixth and then you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to join here one two going to sorry three going to this one two three going to this one two three one two three one two three so you're going to count six one two three four five six one two three four five six and this is how you're going to join So you're going to chain one, two, and you're going to go into this space, chain one, two, go in the middle here, just like what we're doing this side, then chain two, go into this space, chain one, two, go into this space, chain one, two. You remember when we started we skipped this part so that's what we're going to do also here so you're going to chain three and you're going to go into the third the first chain we made here to join this part that first one it's where you're going to go into the slip knot and this is how you end this like that and chain one then you're going to cut off your yarn And so that is how we join these two parts. So the next part is we're going to work on the bottoms and we're just going to get any point, sorry not any point, just where we made the, the middle part right here. I'm going to grab your yarn. Make a slip knot pull through like that so you're going to chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen chain fifteen go into this where we have our third you're going to pull through with a slip stitch just like that and then you're going to chain three one two three and make sure you go into this space again with our first double crochet and you're going to just double crochet all through i'll meet you when i'm here so i'm here as you can see i've already placed my double crochet on this one so i'm going to do a double crochet here and we're going to do for every stitch on these chains we're going to make sure you go into it with a double crochet there's this and here we're going to that with a double crochet just everywhere where we made like chain three double cups or a single crochet or something like that just make sure you go into it with a what with a double crochet because we don't want any spaces here so that's why we're doing this so you can just go under i'm going to do this off camera and i'll meet you when i'm here because it's just going into every stitch with a double crochet 
that's it so i'm going to meet you when before i met this i'm just going to meet you right here and i'll show you how i join here these two because it's a bit different and then how i end and So here I'm going to go into this right the double crochet and then this space right here so with a double crochet and please make sure that this is here we have a little bit of a ridge something something it's a bit not straight so you make sure that it's straight and you're going to go into this into this with a double crochet going to the next stitch with a double crochet and you're going to do this for every stitch that you made on this chain you're going to go into that with a double crochet and then I'm going to meet you here then I'll show you what to join and to do next how to join oh god so I'm on the very last stitch which is this one and I'm going to go on top of my chain three slip stitch then I'm going to chain one two three turn my work around I'm going to go into every single stitch with a double crochet so basically it's just So I've reached the end of my row two. I'm going to go into that. So what we're going to do next is we're try we are going to add this mesh to just complement this down. Okay, not to complement but to just make it look nice. So we're just going to add like a few rows of this mesh, just this mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two, three, three chain for one two three four turn your work around you're going to skip this and then you're going to go into the next chain one skip one going to the next chain one skip one going to the next chain one skip one and you're going to do this until you're here so i'll meet you here So here as you can see I'm left with only one double crochet so I'm going to chain one I'm going to go into remember I made a chain of four so I'm going to go into the third one not the fourth one the third one like that so this first the fourth one acts as chain one so I'm going to chain four again I'm going to turn my work around and this we're just going to go into every stitch just like we did at the very beginning with a double crochet so i'm going to do this and i'm going to add also because i'm going to do two rows of this when i'm on the second one i'm going to show you like after this full row of double crochet we're going to go to the next row of chain one double crochet chain one double crochet let me just call it the mesh part so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go again and do the mesh part and then I'll meet you when I'm done with the mesh part. So I just wanted to pop up real quick and then show you how I end this normal row of double crochet. So remember we did, um, we had chain four and there is this one stitch so you make sure you go into that stitch also. you get so that we have something equal this goes with this and then this goes with that so this is me finishing this row one one two three four turn your work around skip one going to the next with a double crochet chain one skip one going to the next with a double crochet so i'll meet you when i'm done with this row also so here i'm at the very end 
and I'm going to go into the third stitch of my chain four so I'm going to attach a little bit of I don't know if I should call it a design some tassels around this to just give it a beautiful kind of like finishing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one go into this space with a single crochet then I'm going to go into this space with half double crochets basically which is like yarn over you have two left go into you have one two three left pull through all three so you're going to do this six times three four five six seven eight nine ten and I'm going to skip this I'm going to go into this with a single crochet as you can see then I'm going to go into the next with a single crochet then I'm going to go into the next with six more half double crochets one two three four five six and you're going to do this until you get to the very end which is here so I'll meet you when I'm here so I am done with this row and I have one too so I'm going to go into skip one go into this with a single crochet next single crochet and I'm just going to attach where we did our single crochet with a slip stitch and then chain one and I'm going to cut off my yarn so that's how we end this row so you're going to do the same to this part but I'll do this off camera let me just show you how to finish up this part I think finishing a tutorial is the hardest part because you be so 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 tired but um, I've done this row and I've put one double crochet here one 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 all through and also here what I did here is what I did here and here and here and then when I reached here I chained one and then went into each and every stitch with a single crochet but I thought maybe not maybe I thought like I should show you here how to do this because what I did here like this is the same thing I'm going to do here like this so what you're going to do is you're going to chain one two and you're going to go into this first stitch with a single crochet this space where we have like I said where we have this we're going to go into that with a, a single crochet sorry with a double crochet double crochet so where you have a row you go into it with a double crochet where the two rows joined each other join each other you're going to go into that with a double crochet so here I'm just going to place my double crochet in the middle And then I'm going to come where these two join with my double crochet it's a bit too tight so then I'll go into this just place it anywhere as long as it's in in between and then that so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to meet you when I'm here so that I can show you how I did this part So I went into this space, this part right here with a double crochet. So I'm going to go into this double crochet. And please make sure as you're doing this, you compare. And if possible, count, make sure what you have 
here is the same as what you have here and it's the same what you have here it's the same as what you have here like it should be equal So when you're done with this, make sure you go into this stitch right here and then I've finished adding one double crochet in each row and here I'm at the end and I'm going to just finish it with a double crochet Then I'm going to chain my one, chain one and I'm going to go into this with a single crochet, go into this the single crochet so every single stitch I'm going to go into it with a single crochet so I'm going to do that up to here and I'm going to meet you when I'm right here so I'm right here at the end and I'm going to go into this part right here so if you have done like started from here and you've reached around here what you do is you chain three as you can see i did here chain three and then not that i did here like you chain three and then you just go into every single stitch with um every single row with a double crochet so me i'm actually done here so what i'm going to do is where i made my chain three i'm going to just go into that with a single crochet like that i'm going to turn this around so what you're going to do is you're going to chain four i know in the video it looks like i'm making a long chain because i made a chain six instead of four so you'll chain four and you're going to skip two stitches and on the third one you're going to go into it with a single crochet then chain four again skip two and then on the third stitch you're going to go into it with a single crochet and you're going to do this throughout and i'll meet you at the end So if you count this part and this part and you notice that it's not going to be the same, what you'll do is instead of skipping two, as you can see what I did here, I skipped one so that I can make sure if that they're the same. So what you'll do here is the same thing that you'll do here and the number that you have here is the same number that you should have here. So after this, you're going to just... Just going to chain one turn your work and in every single stitch you're going to go into that with a single crochet and you're going to do this all round so when you're done I'm actually not going to complete this I'm just going to show you how I, I'll just join these two but just make sure you complete i'm going to do it off camera because i need to rest my back is killing me but so what i was trying to say is you're going to i've already gone back with that double crochet so this is how it looks like so you're going to get your middle point one two three so I'm assuming this not I'm assuming this is my middle point so I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm going to go into this like that of course after going back with the single crochet and then I'm going to skip no I'm just going to go into this also and I'm going to do the same here Let me just cut this off to make my work easier. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to 
do this you can just take it anyhow you want then this will come here and this will also crisscross to this other side and you're just going to crisscross it around this comes here this comes here like that like that until here so when you're done there's so many tutorials on how to make a, um, these tassels you can just run Run through your fingers. I'm just going to make a short one as an example. Cut it off, right? And you're going to come right here, and you make sure this is a lot. You're going to tie it like that twice, and then you grab another piece of yarn, a small piece, and then you're just going to tie this middle part like this. You just tie this middle part and then level it. So that will be it, and these tassels will be up here once you're done crisscrossing. So basically, that's it for this tutorial. Um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'm so tired. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. And there's so many more tutorials that I'm working on and redoing because some of them I do them so quickly and I tend to like skip a lot of parts but I think this one I've done it well so let me just finish up these other parts and it will be ready for delivery tomorrow morning so yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs>